Hey kids, the sand castles you're about to see were created by a professional sand sculptor, so don't get discouraged if yours look a little different. It's all about having fun and making your own work of art. Hi everybody, I'm Matt Long. I'm a professional sand sculptor and I'm going to show you how to select a good spot for sculpting sand at the beach and what basic tools you'll need to get started. Okay, it's time to select a spot where you're going to build your sand sculpture. Finding the right sand on the beach is always a trick and sometimes it's in different places. You'd like to find the finest sand that you can. Sometimes for me that means skimming just the top surface and sometimes maybe I'll go down by the jetty where the sand will often seem to be finer. The other big trick is avoiding the high tide coming in and washing away the sculpture before you're finished. If you can't check the tide tables or ask a lifeguard what time is high tide on your particular beach on your particular day, I have a little trick. I'm standing here in some wet sand, yet the tide is behind me. This means that the tide has been going out, it's left wet sand behind, and it's on its way out. You can feel pretty safe, but there's another part to that equation. Let me show you. The last part of that equation, like I said, is that you want to determine where the high tide line is. And the simple trick here is to look where the sand that's smooth from the tide coming in breaks off into where the sand is powdery and dry. That'll be your high tide line. You want to build just above that so those waves don't take your sculpture. Here we have some of the basic tools that you need to create a fabulous sandcastle when you go to the beach. Sand and it's mixed with water and nothing else to create fabulous sandcastles. So of course you're going to need a bucket when you go. Get a nice sized bucket up to a five gallon pail. They get a little unwieldy, but these run at about two and a half gallons. Very nice and you can carry them. You're also going to need something to pack your sand into. We call it a form, and the basic form is your bucket with the bottom removed. The trick about this is you're not going to use it right side up. You need to have the narrow side up, fill it with sand and water, pack it tight, and when you slide it off, you'll have a block of sand that you can carve. Then, of course, you need some simple tools to carve with. Can you dig it? Sand tools work very well in the sand for beginners. They're great for kids, families. They don't have any sharp edges and they will do the job for you. We'll cut windows, cut little capital corbels like they do into the top of a castle. This one's a little dried out, but you get the idea. They have one scoop tool, which is very good for creating doorways in your castles or tunnels right through. We can dig right through with one of these guys. And then there's a large tool for moving large amounts of sand creating stairways and so forth on the outside of castles. Again, pretty much anything that'll move sand works well. These are designed pretty specifically for sand sculpting. There's a brush included, it's like a makeup brush, but it's great for getting loose sand off of your pile. It also gives the sand a very finished look. And then we have a new tool here these are called uh, sand shapers, and essentially what they do, in a wet pile of sand, you just rub them on there until they create a perfect sphere. It's great if you're gonna make a uh, moon shapes or uh, planets. Um, kids, they can make a nice uh, caterpillar sort of effect here by running a few together. Uh, good for snowmen, yes, they make snowmen in the sand. Lots of places they do that. Now when you go to the beach, it's not a typical thing that people carry, but if you're going to carve sand and you're going to have some real fun and you don't want to break your back, make sure you bring a real shovel to the beach. The toy shovels are fun for little kids, but if you're going to move any sand or create a sand castle, don't be shy. Get in the shed, bring your big shovel, a spade shovel, a flat coal shovel. This will make a huge difference in the results that you're going to get. And don't forget it's a carving tool as well. A lot of times castles are elevated. I can carve out the base of my castle right here, shave it, anything that cuts sand can be a tool. Shovel is one of the most important and best tools that you're ever going to take to the beach with you.
that's a basic toolkit that'll get you started. You can go a long ways with just those. Remember kids, your sandcastles don't have to look like the ones you just saw. Mastering sand sculpting techniques takes time, so head to the beach and just have fun with it.